Hey there, Roll folks. This is Ben, and welcome back to Untold Roll Secrets, where controversy meets the truth. Now, today, we will delve into the controversial and shocking topic of Archie and Lily's authenticity. Strap yourself in, because we're about to uncover some jaw-dropping revelations, guys, that will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew. And I know you guys are excited to hear more about this, but before we move on to any further details, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button now, and don't forget to press the all-important bell icon. So, we all remember the media frenzy that erupted when Meghan Markle was accused of using a fake baby doll, a plastic prop to gain the spotlight. The criticism was swift and fierce, with the public feeling deceived and outraged. But let me tell you, that was just the tip of the iceberg, guys. On the 4th of July, the world witnessed a hideous publicity stunt that exposed the truth about Meghan's intent. As cameras rolled, Harry was caught on air, holding what appeared to be a fake lily, but the doll-like figure cradled in his arms raised eyebrows in suspicion, prompting a wave of speculation. How could a loving father parade around with a doll instead of his real child? But the deception didn't end there. Recently, a video went viral showcasing Meghan holding a young boy on a plane travelling to L.A., when asked who the child was, Meghan made a grave mistake in a slip of the tongue. She referred to the boy as Prince Archie. This immediately sent shockwaves through the eagle-eyed fans, who quickly realised that Prince Archie is now four years old, whereas the child Meghan was holding was clearly a lot younger. The anger and frustration from loyal royal fans was palpable. Meghan, who had left the royal palace in search of a private life, was shamelessly throwing royal names around, including her supposed children. It begs the question, if Meghan truly wants a drama-free private life, why does she continue to cling to the royal name? Moreover, why haven't Meghan and Harry dropped their royal titles for good? They claim to want a fresh start, away from the constraints of royal life, yet they conveniently hold on to their regal identities when it suits them. It's a contradiction that has left many scratching their heads, basically. Now, the public's trust has been shattered, and it's time to demand answers. We cannot let this apparent charade continue unchallenged. We deserve transparency and honesty from those who wield influence and shape public opinion. So what do you guys think about this news? Share your thoughts in the comments, let us know what you think, and we'll see you again for more Royal News and Analysis.